Hi everyone, my name is Amy and I'm one of the polar bear keepers here at the Toronto Zoo. It's actually polar bear week so we are celebrating today by showing you guys a training demonstration with one of our polar bears, Nikita. You might get to see one of these training sessions at our new training wall here at the zoo. We do training sessions um, randomly for the public so it's a really good opportunity for you to see these guys up close and personal. All the training that we do is completely voluntary for the bears. At any moment they can leave the training sessions if they choose to. They usually never do because they enjoy training so much with all the positive reinforcement that we do with it. So I'm going to show you this training session right now with Nikita. So most of the training that we do has some sort of medical reasoning to it. So we use the training to get a good look at all their different body parts. So they'll show us their bellies, the pads of their feet, their nails, um, their ears, their eyes. They'll open up their mouths so we can check their teeth and their tongue and gums and make sure they're nice and healthy. We can also use the training to voluntarily inject the polar bears. So this comes in handy when they need their annual vaccines, just like your dogs and cats at home. And we can also take blood from them voluntarily. And this comes in handy um, when we think a bear might be a little off. We can check their blood levels, make sure they're nice and healthy. And we can also use it for potential research to compare to wild polar bears and see um, the difference between the wild polar bears and the bears in human care and just kind of get a better understanding of polar bears in the wild. I've been lucky enough to get to work with this amazing species for about three years now. I hope you guys come and visit our polar bears and maybe get a chance to see a polar bear training demonstration. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to see one in person.